Hey, this is Morgus, back with another tutorial. Today we're going to do Snail's Marker Override. We're going to make some adjustments to it to be much more friendly for the Vive user, and it's going to be much more like the presentation room, where you can write, stop, write again, and erase. So let's get started. You can see here I've already installed Snail's Unity package. It's right here. When you install it, you only have two folders instead of three like me. You'll have Snail and Marker. When you go into the marker folder, you have a couple files. I've added some stuff to put a lipstick marker instead of a crayon marker like it's included. This is the included marker right here. He's also got a shader and a material, and these materials are for the lipstick. Okay, let's get started creating our animations. You want to make three clones for this. The first one is going to be for uploading, which I've titled marker. The second one is going to be for an animation, which I'm calling Visible Ink. And the third one is going to be for another animation I'm calling Erase All. So let's go ahead and go into this clone right here. Let's deactivate the upload avatar and go into the animation avatar. I've already kind of started this animation just to speed things along. So you put the lipstick in her hand already and adjusted the hand for it. Kind of show you some of the values here. I haven't done the two keyframes yet. But I've adjusted the location of the lipstick and put it in her hand the best I could. What I like to do is get the location working on this animation. And then you can go in here and get your lipstick location and then add it to your upload avatar. And you can put that exact same location information there for position and rotation and scale. And it should give you the exact same location. You can kind of check that by making this one active again. And see, it's pretty much in that position there for her hands. So next we want to create our trail renderer. So we want to go ahead and deactivate that one. We can leave that one up, but we want to create an empty game object here. Let's rename this trail and then make another empty game object inside of that and rename that one renderer. And we want to go ahead and deactivate renderer and add a trail renderer to it. I like to turn off receive shadows. We want to put our marker material from the snails unity package in there. I've already changed the color of mine to red. It comes blue, but red obviously a little better with lipstick. Uh, we want to set our time to about 120. That's two minutes. I wouldn't go much longer than that. Please don't go much longer than that because you'll start lagging out as you draw more because this trail runner will be constantly drawing. And so two minutes, it'll start deleting itself. So do not do more than that, please. Do not get trail renderers banned. And then min vertex for snails. This is what he goes with. I kind of like it as well. It's a very thin line. You can make it larger if you want. I like this one. So next thing we want to do, we want to go ahead and get an animation in this trail right here. So we want to create our animation. I'm going to name this one Enable Trail. You may not see that window. OBS doesn't pull that up. But all we want to put in here is Renderer is active. And you can move this out further if you want. It should be on looping. You can check that. But this will enable the trail. Let's go ahead and check that in the project. There's trail. Enable trail, it's on loop time, so 60 minutes, you don't really need it. You could do it for a minute, you could do it for anything. 
but this is what I have it. All it does is make the renderer active. Okay, let's go ahead and check and make sure our animation controller is on and it's there. So now we got this ready to go. I'm gonna make a duplicate of it just to have it there safe. Then we wanna go into our marker upload avatar and pull this one into the wrist. So now we got a trail in there as well as our lipstick. All this is gonna do, what I did this way, is this enables the trail as soon as you load up the avatar and that way it's active and ready to go because location data will make this where you cannot upload it if it's enabled because we're going to put this trail far away from everybody so nobody sees it. Okay, let's go ahead and get this one deactivated, put our marker one back deactivated, and we're going to want to move our trail to where it's on the lipstick. You should see that trail follow this as we move it. Oh, wait, you probably won't because we turned it off. Let's turn it back on. And now let's move it. And there you can see it. So, you can move it there. I'm going to go ahead and deactivate just so we don't see the line. Make this a little easier to position. That's probably close enough. So now we got our trail in position to draw. And I've caught a mistake. Our animation is not correct for enable. We need to go ahead and enable the renderer. And let's go ahead and delete this out here. And you can just double click out here and I'll give you active on both ends. Go ahead and turn off record. And there we go. We got our animation set properly now. Okay, let's now get to work on our visible ink animation. So we can, let's leave this one open. Down here, open that one up. Make another duplicate of our trail. Rename it to just trail. And add it to the wrist of the visible ink clone. So our position data is a little off. We need to fix that. So let's go up here and get our position data. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this over off screen. Okay, off screen, I copied my location data. I went to my marker avatar and got the location for the position and rotation and renderer for position and rotation and made sure they were exactly the same in visible ink. So I transferred over the position look and the position and rotation data over from marker into visible ink. Marker we will leave alone. We know where we put it was correct. So when you transfer that data over here, you can see when you go into render that it matches with your lipstick. So this data and this data are both the same in here and here. So when we go up here, you can see render it is still on the tip there. Render is the, on the tip here on visible ink. Okay, now that we've got that correct, we got an animation in here from trail. That is from our marker avatar. We don't need that enable animation in here, so we can go ahead and remove that component and now when we get go back in there we can see our visible ink animation that i created off screen as well you just come in here animation create animation i labeled mine in visible ink and i put my hand data in there that i showed you earlier but now we want to add our lipstick 
and a position change here because we're going to be making some position changes. So let's add our lipstick first. You probably won't be able to see this, but you just go in there like you do from the other tutorial and you enable your marker or your lipstick or whatever you want to use here. It's taking me a little bit to find this thing. Got to go through all the bones. There we go. We want an is active. I don't think I have any other keyframes. Yeah, just one keyframe there. And now we want to make our position change. So that position change will actually be on your marker avatar first. So we go up here, go to renderer on your marker avatar. This is the marker one. And we want to copy this X position here. This is where we want our renderer to appear when it's drawing. But on the marker one, we want it to start out. I'm going to do it at X of 2000. Add 2000 to it. So now it's very far away. Then we come back to our visible ink. And you got your avatar here. Let's go ahead and make this 2000. 2000 as well. We copied it earlier. Make sure you remember your number for this one. So it's there for your visible ink one. And now we want to hit record. And then paste back your original value there. And now we have a new addition to our animation. It's this position. It's going to bring it there. So now we have our visible ink animation. We made all our hand changes. We added the active to our lipstick to make it appear, and we've created this position change. So you can turn off record, copy this keyframe, go to your zero 01 keyframe. We don't want to go any further. We want to do this just like we said in the other tutorial, and paste it in here. So now we have our two keyframes. This is all we need for this. And they should be exactly the same. You should be able to go between them and see there's no changes. And that is our visible ink animation. We can turn off record. One more thing about the visible ink animation. You're going to want to make your other hand some kind of hand symbol. I usually use trigger for this, so it should be a fist, but it's a handgun right now. Uh, you can make anything you want. You can put it to any of your overrides. Handgun, victory. I like the trigger for drawing. So I'm going to make this a fist later. But it's time to move on to the Erase All animation. The Erase All animation is pretty simple. There's not much to it. And you can minimize all your other ones. And go in here into Erase All. Get to your wrist. All these bones are so much fun. And then we're going to want to make a duplicate of your trail again. Rename it to just trail. Bring it in here. It doesn't matter if the lipstick isn't in here. It's not that big of a deal. We want to turn off our animation component for this one because we're going to make a new one for this erase all animation. So we want to create our animation and let's call it erase all. We got a new erase all animation. So the only thing we're doing for this one is we're going into our render and we're going to hit record and see it messed up that erase all duplicate. And the only thing we're changing in here, we're going to make the time zero. That's it. We're going to have to add some hand gestures in here too, because we're gonna put this up to a hand gesture override. So I'm gonna go off screen real quick and grab a hand gesture real fast to copy in here. Okay, I've added my hand properties in here. I just made the handgun animation. Just, that's an easy one to add. I already had that handgun animation. Here's some of the values I put in here if you wanna look through them. But we still got our trailer time of zero. 
So we want to go back up to the top. Copy all of it. Put it on our secret keyframe like usual. Go down make sure we got our keyframe. Now uh, we forgot our trail render time. Let's record it. Uh, put a zero here. Uh, we didn't record. Try that again. Let's just copy it, that one right here. Put it right there. There we go. Now we got a zero. Turn off recording. Should go back to 120. It does. And now we got our erase all animation completed. Okay, now we're going to make our override like we did from the other tutorial. We can minimize that one now. We don't need it. We don't need the erase all one visible. The trail one doesn't need to be visible. Visible ink. Uh, and now we're going to make our marker visible. Marker visible. We don't have our overrides yet. We got it all set up, ready for upload. Make sure we got our trail in there with our animation for our, our enable tr the renderer for the beginning. This is off. This one's on. Our animation makes it active. Right here, render will go active. That's all good. Then we want to go into project, and I've already set up an override file. This this one right here. I got everything filled in just normal, except for fist and handgun. Fist is going to be our visible ink animation. So visible ink. Handgun is going to be our erase all animation. Erase all, and that's completed. So we got our marker override ready to go. Go back into our marker avatar. Put our marker override on, and now it's ready for upload. Let's go test it out. Oh yeah, don't forget to turn off lipstick. I forgot to do that before. Turn off lipstick, it's gonna get enabled as part of visible ink. Couple of quick notes I found in testing. If you scale down your avatar, Make your exposition out further. This avatar really needs to go up to 8,000 instead of 2,000. Uh, Oculus users, finger point for visible ink, and rock and roll for erase all or better hand gestures. And you need to make sure to use snail shaders for the, the shader on the marker material. That's the only way it'll work. Thank you, Snail, for putting this out there. Subscribe and like. Thank you for watching.